Um, welcome. Um, as I was introduced, my name is Dawn Austin, and I'm a sixth grade teacher at Fernandez Middle School. I teach science. Um, I brought with me a couple of my students tonight. We did a weather unit this year called Weather Watch, um, and they are going to tell you a little bit about the unit. All right, so one of the first things we did in the weather unit was we made our own um, weather instruments to collect our own weather data outside. So for one week, we went outside and we collected data with our um, homemade instruments. So one of the first ones we made was we made a wind vane. And so what the wind vane does is we would push it and the wind would direct it to, towards the wind in which way it was going. So um, every day we collected data with a thermometer to test um, the temperature. And then we would collect the data and we would analyze it and we would um, compare it to online data. This is another one of the tools that we use. It's called an anemometer and it measures the wind speed. We used it by holding it into the wind and measuring the angles. And on our uh, graph thingy, a convergent chart, it showed um, what those angles and how much, how many miles per hour uh, that angle meant. And then, so we did that for five days and we compared our data that we collected to actual websites. Oh, and um, the higher the uh, wind speeds, that means that um, a weather change is coming. And if there's lower pressure, then you'll have higher wind speeds. We also analyzed maps, and we used the different symbols on the map like um, the front symbols and the ISO bars to um, figure out what type of weather is occurring in those areas. Um, with the ISO bars, which measure pressure, when they're closer together, that means that there's higher pressure, and higher pressure indicates clear, sunny, sunny skies. And um, when the ISO bars are farther apart, that indicates that there's low pressure, and that means that a front may be moving in. And with the different fronts, it can indicate different um, types of weather. There are stationary fronts, which stay um, in the same place for a while. Then there's um, warm fronts, which can make um, an area warm. And then the cold fronts can make an area cold. And we also learned that, um, that there's a lake effect. When it, uh, um, a front goes over a lake or a storm, it can build up. <laughs> with all the water and it can contribute to the other side of the lake. So, um, so for our last project, we did a, res well, so this was a research-based project so we went on different websites and we read about like some different kinds of severe weather. Then we uh, made the, we, we put together our data that we collected and we made these posters that are like a plan for different severe weather events. So the different types of severe weather that we made plans for were hurricanes, tornadoes, blizzards, and thunderstorms. So we then we divided our data into four different sections. So we have the advanced preparation for the storm, as the storm approaches, during the storm, and after the storm. And then we presented these to the class, and this was like our final yeah. project. Robin, I forgot to introduce their names. This is Nate Bryan. This is Anna Wiggs. This is Vanessa Morales and this is Samantha Blake. 